Hello guys, my name is Maria Toka and today I'm going to show you how to create this silver text effect in Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Firefly. Without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so I just created a new document, A4 format, 300 dpi. And the first thing we need to do is to type our text and now we need to choose the right font. You're going to get the best effect if you find the font that imitates that liquid texture. I don't have a big variety of such fonts, but I'm going to use Synthemesk regular. Yeah, but this is too bold for me. Not that exact vibe that I was going to go for. So I'm going to modify it a lot. And first of all, I'm going to make it thinner. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make each letter on a separate layer just to create a nice composition. Yeah, I'm going to change the size of some of the letters. Just need to arrange all of it in a nice composition. Okay, something like that. And now I'm going to merge all of them and modify with the liquify tool. So I'm just merged all of them into one layer. I need to convert it to smart object. And then I go to filter, liquify. It's gonna be a lot of manipulations. The best tool to make the strokes thinner is pucker tool. I really like to use this, but it doesn't work well when the strokes are too thick. You see, it doesn't do much. In that case, you need to go with forward warp tool first and then manually to make it Thinner. You need to be careful, keep the proportions and you don't want it to look too messy. Uh, maybe you do. Okay, something like that. Yeah, make them a lot thinner than they were. And I try to keep the bottom of each letter a little bit bigger compared to the top because I wanted to imitate the natural drops of water or any liquid. Okay, and now I need to bring the letters a bit closer to each other to make the whole composition to look more put together. But first, I rasterize the layer for that and just manually I'm selecting each letter and dragging it where I want to maybe something like that okay and the finishing touch for the typography will be some custom transformation when you press command T or Control T for the free transformation tool and then you switch between free transform and warp modes then I'm choosing for example fish eye and I'm gonna drag it inside to make that Y2K style. I also stretched it a little bit. So now we need to save this document as a JPEG file. Save as. Just don't save it with export save for web because it automatically transforms your resolution into 72 dpi but we need to keep the high dpi okay we have this as a jpeg file and now we go to adobe firefly firefly.adobe.com inspire images and now we need to generate the material so that could be chrome stainless steel mercury silver aluminum yeah just experiment you can try all of them and see which material you like the most the way it looks but we need to make sure that it's in liquid form i'm gonna go for liquid shiny polished silver isolated on white background generate and i think something like this will work really well probably this one i'm gonna upscale now it's gonna upscale all four of them and but i'm the most interested in this one and now as a composition reference we need to add our jpeg file of our word liquid black and white background and i just dragged it from my folder and we need to set the strength to the maximum and for the style reference just one of these images that we just saved i'm gonna use this one and as a prompt we can say something like word liquid isolated on white background but it doesn't really matter because it's gonna use our references i forgot to say that we need to use the landscape format because the file landscape okay yeah that was the wrong reference for the style that's why it was so messy yeah this is a lot closer to what i want it to look like i'm gonna try a couple more times this is pretty good yeah i think i'm gonna upscale all four of them and i'm gonna choose 
one that I like the most. And this is the winner. I already put it into our Photoshop file. And I need to extend the background a little bit. To do that, I'm going to select the rectangular marquee tool, just a regular one. And when I'm pressing Shift, I can select more than one areas. Yeah, and then I'm just pressing generative fill. I'm not going to type anything, just generate. Okay, and we even have a few options. I think I prefer this one. This one's pretty nice. So I'm going to merge it with the whole image. I mean, these two layers, merge them together. And we're pretty much done. And now just to change the background or the color, if you want, we just need to select the word liquid without the background. Background. and we have that on this layer underneath with only the word liquid so we're gonna hold the command button and press inside of this layer and that's how we just selected the shape of the, the shape of the word oh it doesn't necessarily match the generated image okay then we need to match them first I'm dragging this layer on top then I shift it to make sure it matches the exact shape of the word like now it matches and we did just the same I was holding command and pressing inside of the layer and now I'm activating the layer with the whole picture. I'm pressing command J to copy and paste on a new layer just the word liquid but the layer behind it with the background I can manipulate in any way I want. For example I can go to layer style, color overlay and I can choose any color that I want. For example I want dark blue make it look like another planet this is just my fantasy okay linear light the blending mode we're pretty much done another thing that would be nice is maybe making the central area a little bit lighter that's why i'm duplicating this layer with the background i'm rasterizing it choosing the dodge tool i'm gonna go over the central area with mid tones and possibly even highlights highlights is too bright shadows and mid tones okay i'm gonna merge it with the layer on top but i'm gonna duplicate it and then merge just in case and to highlight the lightest parts of it i'm gonna choose the dodge tool again and i'm gonna go over the lightest parts and select highlights here all right and i think now we're pretty much done i hope you try it yourself i have a lot of other tutorials specifically on photoshop and some of them about adobe firefly as well so make sure you check them out too if this video was helpful don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to this channel to see more and see you guys next time bye